In a bold move that stirred the political pot, President Biden recently threatened to withhold weapon shipments to Israel if it proceeds with its planned invasion of Rafah. This decision has ignited a firestorm across the political spectrum. From Capitol Hill, reactions have been sharply divided. North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum voiced strong opposition, accusing President Biden of negotiating for the terrorists. This sentiment echoes a broader Republican critique, suggesting the president is aligning too closely with what they describe as the pro-Hamas part of the Democrat Party. On the Democratic side, the waters are equally turbulent. While some members express concern over escalating tensions in the Middle East, others like Representatives Rashida Tlaib and Ilhan Omar continue to advocate for the boycott, divestment, sanctions movement against Israel, underscoring deep divisions within the party. This controversy raises significant questions about the future of U.S.-Israel relations and its ripple effects on the broader Middle East landscape. As debates rage and political lines are drawn, the world watches to see how this high-stakes diplomatic drama will unfold.